Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today's January 4th and this is my last video in a series of six for showing you how I grew greens in this pop-up greenhouse. It's three foot high and one of the biggest things I learned is if you're going to use a greenhouse through the winter, really try and bring the height of the roof down because that really allows you to keep the vegetables warmer. I added in my second 25 watt aquarium heater into a five gallon bucket. And let me just show you some of the temperature things because that's the most important thing for this video. A couple days ago, the temperature got down to 18 degrees at night. So I have two 25 watt aquarium heaters running in the five gallon buckets. I just showed you one and that's my original one. So there's two in there now, one on each side. It cost about $3, maybe a little bit more in electricity costs to run these 24 hours a day for 30 days. So in my, opi my opinion is for six bucks, if I can grow these greens all winter long, it's definitely worth spending that money. I wouldn't mind spending six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars even. So just to show you some of the temperature things, on the day that it got down to 18, uh, at 6 p.m. the outside temperature was 28, the greenhouse stayed at 38. And then as you go down in time all the way to 6 a.m., it got down to 19 degrees, the temperature was 29 degrees. So for that whole span from six to six, 12 hours, the inside temperature of this greenhouse stayed eight to 10 degrees warmer than the outside temperature. Interestingly um, enough, at 9 a.m. when the temperature heated up, there was only a four degree difference. And the reason I think that happened was because for that 12 hour span, I think the greenhouse really used up some of the stored heat that was inside of here. The other thing that really made a difference is I bubble wrapped the inside right here. So that's an extra layer of protection from the cold outside and that will keep the warmth in. I got a little bit lazy and I didn't finish it over here on that side. That would make a difference too. But what I did is I put a whole row of bubble wrap back through here and you can check out the other videos to explain these things more. But definitely you want to use layers of bubble wrap in this type of greenhouse. It helps really keep the heat in. And the other thing that happened was I had to seal the bottom. So there's styrofoam down there and then I put bubble wrap right in here. So no cold air can really circulate in here unless I open it up like this. And that duct tape peeled off the first row that I put down. So you have to keep an eye on it. You just don't want any holes to fill up. So in there real quick to finish up, nice growth of radishes, cilantro, endive right down there all kinds of different greens I've been eating. Arugula, um, Chinese greens, mustard greens, turnip greens, red lettuce. Coming around here, more of the same. Some uh, Tom Thumb peas, beet greens. And just to give you an idea of what, let's see if I can pull out, that's the little 25 watt heater that I got for, I don't know, four to six dollars on eBay. But you check out my other videos and it'll explain all the components that I used to set this up. But as of January 4th, plenty of greens. I think the experiment worked. I'll be doing this every year and I'll be keeping it warm enough with bubble wrap and 225 watt aquarium heaters. Oh, and one more thing. The temperature is actually going to get down to 8 degrees in a couple of days. I'm going to get a canvas and just drop it over this whole thing and that will add another layer of protection. But I don't need to use that all the time. That's only going to be used when the temperatures really drop below 18 degrees. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the series. Please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.